I see, I see. And also there's the postnatal depression. I, mean, yeah. I think that's quite important to bring up because, it's, again, it's it another is, stigma yeah. in our community yeah, yeah. because people expect that you've had your baby and yeah. the people are always you know, sort of praying mm. to have children. I mean, I was a wedding, I was a wedding last night or this morning. Right? Like, oh, we came back home this morning. And one of the prayers on the bride is that, you know, we'll be coming back with, you know, to get babies very soon. And, you know, we'll be tied the bride who doesn't deliver. Oh, no, no, and then we'll be tied the bride who delivers and doesn't feel very happy as happy as she's expected to be mm, mm, mm. and so what happens is that that you know can, women can sometimes have and we also think it's linked to some chemical imbalances as well but also i think some tr um, social pressures and triggers come up as well because i even have a patient like that who is from the middle east and she doesn't want to have children but her husband doesn't want to have children and she knows the custom is for her to have so she's sort of going along with yeah, it yeah. and so i'm just keeping my eye on her and just sort of watching when the baby comes to make What's sure i'm just there on, yeah. to be a support to her but these are things we need See, to be that's aware brilliant. of that's brilliant but these days you hardly get that gp patient <laughs> relationship where your yeah. doctors can actually go home and think to themselves hmm i need to keep an eye